afternoon guys today is um thursday and it's currently um i think 2 p.m yeah so something terrible happened to me yesterday apparently now i'm using my phone to vlog so yeah i went to um braid my hair and i wanted to tag you guys along unfortunately for me i on my way back i left um the camera in a train like i hate using the train honestly i hate where i am i'm very angry but after talking to my friend um Bruja, she made me feel better because it's not easy like it was a lot of money honestly and i don't know when i'm getting like a new one but hopefully soon so for now i'm just going to be using my phone um i've lost um a lot since i came here a lot has been happening to me so it's actually very annoying and things like this can make one really depressed you know but Allah, you cannot change it i if i know everyone has been telling me to go back so apparently there are five trains i was just told and i remember there was a time i lost um something and then i went to the security they said they didn't see anything and then i went to lost Papa. i even tried to reach out to the police but then they said no that they cannot attend to me that i have to get a translator you know so it was really difficult and communicating things with them here is really bad because of the lack of english speaking country so yeah things are very bad like honestly i know i'm acting like a baby but i just a baby <laughs> i just want to go home honestly i would give anything to go back home i don't want to stay here like things are happening you know if it's nigeria and you've lost something in an uber or bolt you just have to contact them or go to the office but here things are complicated you know <sighs> i guess yeah i'm not happy i'm really really not happy but then it is what it is right so and the most annoying part of everything is i've vlogged so much i've vlogged so much so much so much so much so much so much like updates and stuff but now i don't know maybe one day i'll find time and just like summarize everything yeah i think so but for now you guys will just have to manage me using my phone and eventually we'll get a new camera so yeah i'll see you guys bye
okay guys so i just i literally just got back as you can see i look very exhausted so like um i had a visitor like the girl you saw earlier so she came to the house and she wanted to go out and grab a few things so i had to go with her because clearly i don't even know chicken gary so she was just like this is an opportunity for me to go see what's happening outside and then i was like yeah let's go so we went to the market i'm having like migraine because we've just been working working because it's a very big market so we're just branching from one shop to another sorry i'm whispering because i'm having a migraine so yeah and this is it so as usual i'm using my phone to record everything so yeah like don't blame me on how i look i always look tired because i'm always coming from from outside so mostly it's not really chilling you're always doing something so yeah and i just received um, a package um from zara and i don't know exactly i can't remember the other website so yeah just going to see because i just ordered for um school bag you know i've been misplacing things so i wanted to order for like a bigger bag something i can use so yeah so i decided to order from zara like a school bag that i can stash everything inside so yeah i'll just unbox it and see how the bag looks like or well, maybe we might just unbox it together but either ways i'll show you the bag so yeah um the other package is my bed sheet because you as you can see okay i lost my camera yeah i wanted to um i ordered for a bed sheet i actually when i went to get it at the mall and then it had one pillowcase and then i noticed it was like a three quarter and they said a king size bed so i had to like order for another bed sheet online so yeah this is it so i'll just um like i'll just i don't know i'll just unbox it with you guys so see ya so i just got back from my lecture um few minutes ago and i am really famished so i didn't have time to vlog my entrance and stuff so i had to make something to eat but that's not even the issue so i attended my first lecture and the issue here is <laughs> um the english like they are um, lecturing us in English, but it's literally like, like in Turkish. I don't know if I'm making any sense. It's literally like in Turkish. And I am um, like, I asked the person I was sitting close to, do you understand? And she's like, no. <laughs> Guys, I don't even know how I'm going to like go on about this. But man, 
I really do not know. I don't know how to survive this, honestly. Because how do you expect us to attend lectures or to write exams, basically, when we don't even, like, understand what you're teaching? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Like, I didn't get anything she said. And I spent the last two hours just looking at her face. And... Oh my god and do you know one funny thing yeah i i made a friend actually i didn't expect their classmate to be very friendly but it happened that they are friendly because i've had bad um, bad experiences with people so so yeah fortunately i was conversing with um, the person i was sitting next to and then she was telling me about the midterm exams i said what she said yeah you didn't know i was like no she said there's a midterm exam next month <laughs> and i am like midterm exam she said yeah there's a midterm exams coming um next month i'm like what the fuck i just attended lectures and there's midterm um exams next week oh my god i don't know i am really frustrated omo <laughs> omo i okay if there's anything you need to know about me is i don't like stress well no one likes stress but my own is on a different level and now my head is spinning because i don't even know where to start from how to start writing this exam so and i don't know i am really sad i don't even want to switch on the tv because i'm thinking about my life i'm thinking about the decisions i made i'm like what the fuck what what even encouraged me to to leave my bed and do my masters like what encouraged me oh Wallahi tallahi Kai <laughs> Oh my god I was so happy that I was done with my degree Like it was a struggle But alhamdulillah we passed But now Like Mesa Mesa Like why? Why did I even encourage myself? To come do my masters <laughs> oh, Mo, i was thinking something very different honestly that's the problem when um you're doing your masters for the wrong reasons this is what you get honestly uh, uh, huh. like there's a story oh. there's a very long story Honestly, at times, let me tell you something about this. Like, at times, when God is telling you no, just take it as a no. Don't argue, don't cry, don't be sad. Just take it. Honestly, at this point, I remember um, applying for master's last year and I got rejected. I was really, 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 um, really, really sad. And I could remember everyone was just feeling sorry for me at home my mom my siblings my friends i was just crying because i didn't want to work after school i didn't want to work and um this masters was just an escape for me to just focus on my vlog that was what i was thinking of. so when i got rejected i remember um Everyone was just sympathizing with me, and then I was like, Me, I would even rather die here. I would rather die here. That means Turkey. I'd rather die here than stay in Nigeria. I'm depressed. I was really, really, really um, depressed. No one knew, but my friends. I remember my mom saying, like, I shouldn't stress it. I was like, Okay. So when I was applying this year, I was so happy. I was patient. I remember um last year. Um, um, um. I was told that oh we could apply somewhere else. I'm like no. One thing about me when I when I want something I go for it. 
and this is something i have learned the hard way now so i was like no i don't want to go anywhere i want to come to turkey because i've already made up my mind i've made up my mind i want to come here and then this year when i wanted to apply my admission because i applied last year so my admission was with they had to like send new admission and then they were delaying it so i remember see, i remember i was told that oh you don't have to go to this country you can try other countries and i'm like no actually it was dubai or turkey and then this um dubai stop happened and i got discouraged so i went for turkey and i was adamant about turkey and yes duja i remember duja telling me it's a really nice place you know you can tr travel from here to here duja encouraged me hamra encouraged me and yeah i listen to duja half the time because i always see her as someone that knows what she's doing but duja not this time around <laughs> i am effed up so i remember i was really um depressed and then i said no i don't want to go anywhere me i have to go to turkey since i came here from one problem to another since i came here from one problem to another i am very upset honestly and then i started remembering last year why god rejected why god made them to reject my visa god was trying to tell me who's not stay at home who's not you don't need it but i was arguing i was depressed then god said okay who's not since you want to do your masters in turkey yeah it is go and do it and i've been ripping it since i came here i've i've been scammed i lost my camera now apparently i'm using my phone because we are determined to never keep up so yeah um honestly i don't even know i'm just saying so much but in essence i'm telling you you don't need that masters you think you need you don't need it honestly the fact that we're writing exams next month honestly i'm very pissed i'm very pissed honestly i just want to go home i wish they would just ask me who's just come back home you just come back home just come back home I just wish someone would be upset and just be like, you're being a brat. Just come back home gladly. Honestly, gladly. I want to come back home. I don't like reading. Honestly, I don't like reading. Yeah, I do not like reading. Honestly, I don't like stressing myself. Now I have to read. Imagine they are telling us we're having a midterm um, exams next month. Like where the... F Kai, no. Like I said that masters you think you need you don't need it and when god is trying to tell you take left you better take left don't take right i did the same and look at where i ended up and the turkey service stressing me honestly i cannot wait it's either i travel or i come back to nigeria and one more thing the funny thing here is um i was <laughs> guy I, I was telling my sisters that ah, me, i'm not coming back home once i leave here i'm not coming back home i will be traveling and you guys will just be seeing my post but now how can i travel when we're having midterm exams on um um like november and then probably exams is in january so that is the midterm um whatever um short break is in december so that means what i expect, I expect us to read honestly i don't know what to do guys just pray for me or oh. pray for my uh mental health though because ah uh, i don't know honestly i don't know but sure we'll see right this is just an update see ya hi besties um it's freezing out here so yeah it's currently 5 a.m and guess what i am studying because it appears that um i missed um two lectures already week one and week two so yeah i have to like catch up and then i notice that there's a presentation there's a presentation and yeah we're supposed to like everyone is like meant to 
like pick a topic and then discuss on it and you're going to present it in class so like apparently um two of my courses are online and it wasn't on my timetable so i didn't even notice it so i just realized that okay and and the most annoying part of everything is that um this um their website everything mostly actually it's written in turkish so yeah i didn't even notice i was just um just going through on uh, my portal and then i was like oh let me check and then i noticed that i missed um two online classes so apparently i have school every day <laughs> every day and guess what it's like it's literally at night so yeah i'm whispering right <laughs> so apparently it's at night so you see i have monday monday is actually there online by 8 8 p.m to 10 right and then on tuesday it's 5.50 mm, yeah it's 5.50 to probably they always say to this time but they end up prolonging the whole lecture so yeah and secondly I go yeah the timetable it's complicated like this week I didn't have on Wednesday but next week I will have the whole week upper week the whole week um same so i am just doing my best to study i will just try my best and leave the rest honestly i wouldn't kill myself honestly at this point because i am actually um terrified of the exams honestly i am not trying to be um um i'm not trying to pretend and say oh i can do this i'm just trying my best honestly and then i'll just leave the rest at this point <laughs> at this point i'm just thinking of what to do with myself that means if i have to catch up i wouldn't have like a social life i would have to hang out and what i had in mind in doing is Every lecture day, I would like to study on um, the previous classes so I would understand. Because no one wants to study with you, obviously, after like now everyone wants to go home and we're always having classes. So, who would want to teach you? So, make it make sense. But then I will still ask you, there are um, courses I don't have a clue on what's going on, but. I'll have to ask honestly because like I said the last time I complained I didn't understand what she's saying apparently um she recorded the lectures the one we're doing online so I am just re-watching it and getting a few things so yeah I'm just taking a break to update you guys I still have like 14 slides to go so I will just pray then finish since my lectures is in the evening. Then I'll use the whole morning to sleep. So yeah. Story of my life. Don't apply for masters, okay? Do not apply for masters. Trust me. You don't need it. Besides, Nigeria, you don't they do not even care if you have a master's degree either you get a job or not but i'm advising you not to do that because it would drain the shit out of you it's draining the shit out of me i've lost so much weight compared to when i came here the struggle dharma so yeah let me not say much i do not have time and i don't want to forget what i have studied because normally i don't like talking <laughs> when i am studying but then i'll update you guys you know so yeah 
I'll just show you what I am currently learning. So, see ya. Hey besties, today is um <laughs> today is Thursday and it's um six twenty p.m. I am headed to the class. I'm headed for my lectures. So yeah, I am fifteen minutes late. And I don't know what to do. I've been requesting for a boat and they keep declining. So yeah. I'm working. So apparently, I was just in my classmate. And then the funny thing here is, we were talking and we were working. We even crossed the bridge over. I didn't even realize that until now. So I was thinking hopefully I'll get like a a cab from where they stopped. But there's no cab. And they used the bus to go home. And I am just here walking home. There's no cab. The cabs are very busy. There's no cab. I requested on Uber. There's no cab. So now I have to be walking to my house. Hopefully I'll get a cab on my way. Um I don't know. This is this can be the worst day of my life, but this is actually for me, you know. So yeah, whatever the case may be, I'll update you guys. So I'll let you know if I get a cab or I just oh I just Oh my god, a car just passed. Oh my god. Okay, bye. Um, I can see my building from here. Oh my god. Oh, shit. I am home. <laughs> oh my god. Um, hey, best. So, something funny just happened uh, on my timetable it says i have lectures today 1 p.m to 3 p.m but apparently it's tomorrow um 7 p.m and i have a class today by 5 40 so i came to school early i have been looking for my class i've been looking for my class everyone tried to help me and you know we did not speak english so it was complicated along the line i found out that today is not my class i misunderstood the whole timetable because there are the school portal is very complicated you know um, not everything is written in english so you just like assume and this is it so i am in class and i just came to the school cafeteria to do school grab a drink and I ordered for this so yeah I'm just going to eat and then study so guys I'm sorry that I've not been posting lately um things are just complicated here um I have to study you know in order to pass I have to study I do not have that luxury to to hang out i do not have that luxury i didn't even see this coming i don't know what i was thinking but i do not have that luxury so apparently um things are more complicated than i than i anticipated so i have to stay focused you know we have exams um in november like midterms so you cannot um you cannot you know want to chill i even envy the ones that are studying and chilling i study in the afternoon in the, in the morning afternoon night in the morning afternoon and this is all i ever do so yeah and then again um, we do not have lectures in the main school i was expecting we'd have like our lectures in the main school but apparently we don't so we have lectures somewhere else that is um for master student but for um the uh, the ones i'm um, doing their bachelor degrees they have their lectures in school 
So yeah, so I am in another part of my school and I'm having my lectures. So yeah, that is it. I would update you guys and yeah, I'll just eat something and then I'll read till 540 because the co mm, the cousin is complicated so I have to like work my way through it now. This is just an opportunity for me to study. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.